Now, very quickly, we want to go ahead and create this blue shape, okay? This blue shape here. So let's do that now. Now, we need to do some kind of measurement to make it very clean and perfect, okay? Now, we need to use this ruler tool here, okay, to do the measurement, all right? Now, if your ruler tool is not showing, just left click on view menu and just check this box that says ruler scale. Look, if I uncheck it, you can see that the ruler stuff has gone away, but if I check it again, you see the ruler stuff comes up, okay? Now, having done that, we need to do some measurement now, okay? Now, look at this. This is zero, from zero to close to 12. This is like zero to like 11.8, okay? Zero to like 11.8, okay? Now, if you look at the reference, this place is coming to a center point. Like we are bringing the shape to meet at a center point. So to be very sure that it's on a center point, okay, we need to take a ruler. Now, we need to take a line to around, not 6, but around 5.8, where is the perfect center. We are going to be using the ruler to help us measure, you know, accurately, so that when we are drawing it, it will look very good. So all you need to do to drag a ruler line, just go to where this ruler is. You can see this shape that showed. Okay, that looks like a cross with arrows. Left click and hold your mouse, then drag. Okay, drag to around 5.8. You can see there. You see there, that is 5.8. You see the 5.8 there? Then you release your 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 um your mouse. Okay. I just noticed that it didn't show. Okay, I just noticed that it didn't show. Let me just drag this away first okay let's drag this away first okay just left click and drag this away for now so that we can see the ruler this thing now you can see that the ruler stuff is showing here okay let's zoom close a bit okay so you can see that this is 5.8 and it's on 5.8 okay so that we can get the center well you get what i'm saying later the next thing we want to do is, now this is from zero, okay? This is from zero to like 1.5, okay? We want to drag a line from fr to 1.5 to measure it because we are going to be creating this shape, okay? The blue shape, okay? Which is like a triangle and a rectangle joined together. So we want to drag a line to around... 1.5 or thereabouts so look at where 1.5 is this is one now this is 1.5 so just come here and drag left click and drag look at that thing showing there it will show you that you are in 1.5 so release your hand around there okay so you can see this line that just formed okay another line we want to drag is to around 2.2 just be following me for now. You understand what I'm doing later. So to around 2.2 here. Look at 2.2, okay? This is 2.2. This is 2, then 2.1, 2.2. This other line. So left click and drag, and drag it to around 2.2. Yes, like around there. And release your hand, okay? Now, having done this, we want to now start creating our shape. You see that to look very perfect. If we did, if um, unlike if we just used our eyes to do it. So to create the shape we are looking for, you go to insert, okay, then go to shapes. Now you you see this shape here. It's called free form shape. Free form shape. Left click on it, okay. When you left click on it. Just take the center of the cross to so around this edge, okay? Now, left click once. Just left click once, okay? Okay, let, let me say, don't left click once. Just left click and drag. Okay, sorry. It's not, it's not working well. Hold on. I want to press, press Ctrl Z to undo what I've just done. Ctrl Z. 
So let me go back to insert, go to shapes, left click on the shape, the free form shapes. Now just left click once here. Left click once here. Okay, do you see as you left click once the line will start forming? Do you understand? So as it starts forming, just drag it down. Make sure it's straight. Make sure you get it is straight. Let it stop around this this first um, rectangle. This first um, line, sorry, ruler line. Then left click once. Just left click once. It will stop the shape there. Just left click once. It will stop the shape there. Now it is still forming. Do you see that it's still forming? Just take your your mouse. Keep dragging your mouse. But make sure you are not holding down the mouse. Okay. So come to this place come to this place the center of this place left click once just left click once okay to that place then drag your mouse again without holding down the mouse okay the, the left button come to this place okay left click once then drag up do you see that the shape is forming do you see that <laughs> okay then come to this edge left click once then drag until it touches where you started from. Okay, then left click once. Wow. Did you see that? <laughs> okay, this is awesome. So do you see how we form the shape? Now, do you understand why we put all those uh, ruler pins? You can see why we put them, right? Okay, so having done this, okay, all we need to do now is, um, we need to change the color so go to shape fill okay choose this very blue here hyperlink blue left click on the blue now you can see that it has an outline the outline is that black lining around it okay so just go to outline and choose no outline we don't want it to have an outline you can see that the black outline has gone away so to round up this video for now okay Let's go ahead and drag back our this shape that we created before. So let's just drag it. Okay, you can see that. Yes, just, let's just drag it until it fits our shape very well. Now, take note. Make sure it fits very well, okay? So let me drag it up more. Drag it up more. You can see that I've overdragged it. Look at the shape here, okay? So let me just drag it down, fit it perfectly. Okay. Yes. You can see that it has fitted perfectly. Now, one last thing. You can see that this shape has a black outline. So left click on it and go to shape outline and choose no outline. And yes, there we have it. We have created the um the background shape with the blue shape okay with the blue rectangular like um, triangular rectangular like shape okay so we'll stop here for now and continue in the next video thank you so much for watching see you in the next video